my t-shirt and jeans, my other t-shirt and jeans. But what makes these two outfits different and what small feature about them divides the fashion girly community? Hi, my name is Alice Leanne. I hope you got that TikTok reference. And today, I'm going to be talking about things that can literally make or break your outfits without you noticing. I'm just going to talk about some tiny mistakes I've made in terms of my outfits that have literally ruined the entire look so that you don't make the same mistakes. And I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks to make your simple outfits just look better a little disclaimer these steps are just geared towards my personal experiences i'm like 5'2 and i personally prefer to look taller and more slender because sometimes i feel like i look like a left thumb because i look stubby and short the first thing might be slightly controversial and it's why i hate cropped pants i hate them with a burning passion for most of the little tips i give in this video i have like an example of me wearing the outfits for this one i don't because i think i've gotten rid of literally all of my cropped pants i'm the type of person that shops a lot on Online. So when I used to buy pants online, I used to just not mind how long the pants were. Like I would just buy them if I liked the color. So I ended up with so many pairs of cropped pants. And I just never realized why they look slightly off on me, even if they look like really nice on other people I see on Pinterest and stuff like that. I've realized that any pair of pants that shows even just a tiny sliver of my ankle, of my leg, makes me look shorter than I am. There's a little bit of skin showing between your shoe and your pants. It just ruins the continuity of the outfit and just makes it like chunks instead of one long harmonious outfit and although some people do pull off a good ankle length pant in my opinion ankle length pants crop pants or any pair of pants that don't go to the very bottom of your leg until the middle of your shoe just make you look shorter than you are the longer the better sometimes i do sweep the floor with my pants like my pants are literally hitting the ground i should be paid for like community service but now that we're on the topic of pants and looking stubby i have a few more tips as to how you can pick your outfits so that you don't look stubbier Usually, I prefer more relaxed fitting pants rather than super tight pants. With my body type, I find that whenever I wear pants that are tight around the hips and the butt, it just accentuates the fact that I do not have hips or a butt. I feel like it's a no-brainer to most people that high-rise pants would make your legs look longer and low-rise pants would make your legs look shorter. And while that is a good general rule, I find that wearing really high-rise pants messes up my proportions so badly and just ends up with the opposite effect of making me look shorter. Because I have a short torso and short legs, so pretty much just balance proportions i find that really accentuating my legs makes my torso look super short and it makes it look really awkward on me these blue pants and these pink pants are actually the same style of pant the blue ones are just a size smaller than the pink ones and the blue ones are actually my usual size the pink ones are a size up but sometimes for me sizing up just makes the pants fit the way i want them to so you could do that as well now that you know how to pick pants properly now let's talk about picking the right shoe let's start with sneakers i used to think that all sneakers were just made equally so whenever i would pick an outfit with sneakers i would just pick based on which color matched my outfit best but i've come to realize that there are two types of sneakers the first type is the sleek slim sneaker just a super basic look and the second type is a little trendier it's the chunky dad shoe dad sneaker look there are definitely shoes that fall in between these two looks but generally shoes would fall into one or the other okay here's the rule i follow for this personally you don't have to follow it but this is what i think looks best pants that aren't wide around the ankle can only be worn with slim sneakers I feel like when you wear a chunky sneaker with a relatively slim pant, it just looks so weird. It looks like your foot is a blob and then there's like a long line of leg and it just looks like very awkward in my opinion. And I've made this mistake so many times. At this point, I can't take it back but now I can impart this knowledge on you so charge to experience. Um, For pants that are wide around the bottom of the leg, you have more free reign but generally it looks more proportionate with a chunky sneaker. I feel like slim sneakers also work really well for this which makes wide leg pants a lot more versatile in terms of the shoe you pick. But you can only get away with a little bit of a chunkier shoe when the bottom of your pant is a bit more wide or a bit more flared out basically the rule is your outfits maintain the same silhouette towards the bottom the only exception i could think of for this is athletic wear and for dresses skirts and shorts you definitely have a lot more free reign since usually it doesn't end at the very bottom of your shoe so the contrast isn't that obvious but if you want to play it safe you could also follow the same rule it'll look really good as well now let's talk about heels sandals pumps and any other type of shoe these types of shoes definitely lean on the more sleek side although there are some platform chunky versions of it usually heels are mostly super slim i wear heels with longer pants only going back to the thing i said earlier i have pants that i specifically only wear with heels they would literally be too long on me without heels but with heels they're just the perfect length and i think that hiding the fact that i wear heels by wearing longer pants that kind of cover the heel gives the illusion that i'm actually that tall and i'm not just wearing heels and that's the illusion i like to give super general basic tip real quick but i find that open 
low-toed heels or shoes look nicer with more tropical outfits. Low-toed heels or shoes look better with more street styly outfits. Sometimes I also like to pair open-toed shoes with more conservative outfits and dresses so that I don't look super conservative. I don't know, it just gives a good contrast. An additional tip when it comes to heels is that not all heels are made equally either. Some heels kind of make me look shorter. So when it comes to heels and sandals and shoes like that, I tend to avoid shoes with a lot of straps around the ankle or around the leg. I feel like that really cuts off your leg and makes you look shorter and makes the outfit look blocks as opposed to one smooth thing, which is always the goal. Now let's talk about accessorizing. Accessorizing is one of my biggest things. Recently, I've been obsessed with big accessories. This one is more about my face and less about my body proportions. So as you can see, my face is definitely not serving Bella Hadid gaunt super cinched in vibes my face is definitely round so to balance that out and make my proportions look better and make the outfits look better too i try to go for bigger accessories with really nice outfits i prefer to wear it with big statement earrings and not all big statement earrings are made equally either i usually prefer an earring that goes down rather than an earring that's rounder because i feel like when i wear a rounder earring it accentuates the fact that my face is round too so i'm like mm, not my vibe right now i go for a longer earring that draws the eye downwards and makes your face look more cinched, more Bella Hadid. I hate to admit this to you guys, but I'm getting older. I'm losing my youthfulness because recently I've preferred longer tops rather than crop tops, which is pretty alarming because I never thought this day would come for me. Because recently I found that I've been leaning towards longer tops, more full length tops, because I think that makes my proportions look better. Again, that thing about having pieces of your outfit breaking your body up, making you look shorter. I think that having skin showing around your stomach just breaks up this part and makes you look like two chunks rather than one long thing. I still like crop tops and this top is honestly like a bit cropped as you can see. But when I buy crop tops, I try to buy tops that end around the belly button or longer because I think that showing a teeny tiny bit of my stomach area here scratches the itch of me wanting to wear a crop top without messing with my proportions. Fifth is sleeve lengths. We know the short sleeve, we know the long sleeve, but what about those awkward lengths? Some tops end at around the elbow area. And although that is a style that people do intentionally, me personally, I prefer having my short sleeves be short until here my long sleeves going down to the bottom here because i think that any sleeve that ends around the elbow for me just looks really awkward and makes my arm look really stubby i don't know why it makes my arm look like short which in turn makes my body look short and everything this happens to me mostly with puff sleeve tops because i wear a lot of puff sleeve tops so here i'm showing you how i fix that by just kind of ruching in and judging in the elastic part of the puff sleeve top to the top of my arm and i think that wearing short sleeve tops that end here rather than your elbow area it just looks a lot nicer in terms of making you look less stubby it's a really small change and then really easy fix but it creates such a drastic difference in my opinion another thing i really struggle with is mini dresses shorts and skirts that are just at an awkward length for me because i'm on the relatively shorter side sometimes mini dresses aren't super mini on me they're not quite midi either they're just at that really awkward length between mini and midi that just makes my leg look really weird because you can't tell if it's a midi dress or a mini dress so for this, I would highly suggest getting your clothes altered. I get so many of my clothes altered. It is a bit of a hassle and it is a bit pricey, but if you can do it yourself, that would be really nice too. But if you don't want to get your mini dresses, your mini skirts, or your shorts altered, I have a little tip for you. So as you can see with this dress, in my opinion, it's at a really awkward length. Obviously, I'm barefoot here, but I think if I wear it with a sandal or just a sneaker, it would look really awkward because the amount of skin between the, the end of the dress and the shoe would just look really short and turn would make me look short. But since I didn't want to get this altered, my fix for this is to wear knee-high boots. I think that knee-high boots help me fix my proportions and make them look more normal, especially these ones because they're heeled. It makes the length between your leg and your shoe look a lot less awkward because it's a really long boot, which is why I wear these boots so much. But yeah, that's just a little life hack for you. Pretty much it for all my really specific tips. Now let's move on to more general tips that really help you. First is tonal dressing or monochromatic dressing. I usually wear monochromatic outfits. Like I'm usually wearing the same top and bottom color. But if you want to dress in different colors, I would also suggest tonal dressing, which is basically dressing in the same color family. I think it just looks super clean and super put together as well. So I obviously don't follow this all the time. I love wearing black and white together and stuff like that. But if you're going for that look, this definitely helps. The second is vertical pleats. Vertical pleats have literally saved my life. Usually people talk about, oh, vertical stripes will make you look taller. But sometimes I get tired of the stripe pattern really easily. I think that the perfect alternative to this vertical stripe pattern is vertical pleats. It looks so good, makes you so much more elongated. Plus points if you could pair a bigger pleat with a smaller pleat. I just think it looks really nice. 
that is pretty much it for all of my tips and tricks i really hope that helped you i swear if i just drilled these tips into my head five years ago it would have saved me so much trouble and so much ugly outfits so if you enjoyed please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe follow me on instagram at alisalian and on tiktok at alisa's vids thank you so much for watching until the end that's it from me bye